Hello and welcome to this reaction of Arrow. We are on season two, episode 10. And so far this season, so much going on. Blade's apparently the big bad, or at least the guy pulling strings. I don't know if Blood's still the big bad. Gonna be the big bad with Slade pulling strings to help him. One of those two things is going on. Uh, we found out Shadow died in the worst way possible. Very hands tied behind her back, didn't even fight, kind of died, which I think is kind of crappy. I have a feeling it's leading to something that's going on between Slade and Oliver. So uh, we met Barry Allen last couple episodes. Can't wait to watch The Flash in full, in full. Like I said, I've watched about two thirds of season one. So uh, Moira got out, Merlin came back. There's so much going on. So without further ado, let's get to this episode, see what happens. Get right into a fight, cool. He doesn't even move. Wow. Like the body control he has is just fantastic. The man in the skull mask. Who is he? I, I don't know. You're the biggest street dealer in Crescent Circle. You know everything that goes on over there. Who? I ain't seen the guy before. I mean, the skull mask, are you freaking kidding me? Come on, man, I'm still on parole. Not anymore. <laughs> you were. Is Felicity not back yet? She says she wants to spend a few more days with Barry. Any improvement in his condition? <sighs> still comatose. Oliver, for the past five weeks, you've been pushing yourself pretty hard looking for this guy. He isn't there a crew, Diggle. And you, you saw it. Talk to Kill. One guy that had been injected. I mean, we practically had to drop a building on him. So to imagine a 10. I've just never seen you spook like this before. Well, that should tell you something. True. It should tell you how bad it is. Oh, get to this story. I mean, he looks healed, but he looks bad, dude. Look at his face. She'd want you to have that. You're the one she cared for. Oh, that stinks. Just leave. Hey, Ollie, just give him space. I, we can't keep lying to him, Sarah. I need to tell him how Shadow really died. Ivo killed Shadow. He pulled the trigger. Because I chose to save you. The ones who survived, they were deformed. Either their bones or their minds. They became someone else. Yeah, not the same Slade Wilson. No. Blood had a connection to the Langford Psychiatric Institute, the one that burnt down under very mysterious circumstances. Do the police suspect arson? No, they're saying that it's inconclusive. But Blood also knew Cyrus Gold, the man that shot and killed four police officers. I was a street orphan, and this city raised me as one of its own. I am the man that I am today because of my Starling City family. So it's time that I start to give back. So thank you all for your support. This is a weak ass speech. Why is my boyfriend such a topic of interest? Well, Thea, his idol put an arrow in him, and I just wanted to make sure there weren't any lingering issues. Oh my God. Now that I think about it, you know, he did something completely out of character this morning. What? He showed up for work on time. Thea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Glad you could come. Sebastian invited me. Yes, I hear the two of you have been spending a lot of time together. We're just friends. Does he know that? Uh-oh. Probably not. He's holding you back. Sometimes I feel like I don't know the real Sebastian. And they're lobbyist puppeteers. Who's this guy? I declare war on them all. Anyone in the building? Cleaning crew and a group of bankers working out a late night deal. Did he blow you up? You me to police and fire? I'm on it. Damn, man. Help. Gary's still back here. Get to safety. That's all I'm talking about, dude. Citizens don't even flinch. Like, the arrows here? Cool. Ivo is still out there. I'm gonna find him, and when I do, I'm gonna cut pieces off of him. You can't. Ivo has a ship full of men, of killers. And I don't care what you did before, you can't take them all out. The only thing sure? here is to find safe ground and wait him out. 
Well, of course you would say that. Get out of my way. Can't you just seem to take it easy? Huh? I said, get out of my way. Yeah, he doesn't look good. I start with the bomb. Everyone's unique. Maybe we can get some kind of signature on the guy. But the bomb residence with SCPD. Fortunately, we have an in with one of the officers at the department. I thought you were staying in Central City for a few more days. I got a news alert about the bombing. Caught the first train out this morning. Good. Why? How's Barry? Yeah, he's still sleeping. I prefer sleeping to coma, because coma sounds, you know, not fun. I do love that he cares for Barry now. That's good. Didn't trust him, but now he does. Uh, no, it's just... Laurel, if there's something on your mind, give it voice. I don't bite. I promise. Sure about that? You know my father's with the department. <laughs> yes. He said the suspect that he was investigating when he and his partner were attacked was a man named Cyrus Gold. He was the first person I said a word to, and this was after a month of not speaking at all. You talk a lot about being an orphan. Wow, he is playing you like you a don't fiddle. Talk about your parents. Oral. There's no way that's a true story. Did you know them? One night he came home soaked in whiskey. He lost his job again, so he broke her arm. I tried to stop him, but he threw me off. And the next thing I saw was my mother holding my father's gun in her hand. It was the last time I saw my parents. I'm so sorry. I don't know. See, I'm sorry. We can see more later through the fourth wall who and what he is. If I didn't know that he was the dude in the mask, I would have bought that story. That's are you okay? Not really like. Yeah, fine. Just I haven't been sleeping much lately. I got a lot on my mind. You want to talk about it? Look, I'm fine. Ever since the arrow shot you, you've been acting really weird, Roy. With me, with everything. This isn't about the arrow. You get to be so lucky. Are you gonna talk to her, Roy? You. Stole my purse. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a fact. And I completely forgot about it. Oh, he, your arm. Uh, um, that, that looks really deep. There's it like no blood. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs and get the first aid kit, okay? By the way, if it's that deep, never pull. No, don't pull it out. You know, most cops, they meet their informants in the backseat of a cruiser or maybe a coffee shop or something, but it's with the mask. Gift from a friend. You got friends? Did you bring me what I asked for? What is the cop from? What do you need? Cell phone records for every cop in my precinct. Do you think there's a leak in the department? Oh. I think those phone records are the only way to know for sure, and your blonde friend, she's pretty good with computers. That's oh, true. Let's... Keep going. DC 52 to Central 1080. Down. Signal's Adam. moving. I think he's mobile. Give me an intersection. Right in front of you, 400 meters. Right now. Too early in the episode for him to actually catch him. <laughs> I always love when vans drive like that. You ever drove a van? That shit's so top heavy, there ain't no damn way. Listen to you, I've lost him. What? Me too, hold on. Got him. Bank left on Gerard Street. You're almost right on top of him. Nah, he threw his phone down. But he must have he must have scrambled a signal. It doesn't matter. He's gone. Got some training. What happened? He's using cellular technology to detonate his bombs. If you have something to say to me, Oliver, say it. People are dying. So I would like you to pull your head out of Central City and get back in the game. Sure, right after you get yours out of your ass. Excuse me? All right. 
Maybe we should just take a breath here. No, I need some air. Yeah, I don't blame her. Dude, he is so wrapped up and angry about this Marikuru. At the risk of me getting my head knocked off, playing the blame game is not gonna help us catch this son of a bitch. Is he not? Did he like black out? It's a Mirakuru. It's messing with your head. Hey. Pretty crazy. Yeah, you done all right? I thought I could use your help if you have a second. You've been at the DA's office now. Office so much like you join the family business. Come on. I'm trying to find someone named Maya Rizik. I've searched the internet, the DMV records, social security, nothing. Why are you looking for a ghost? Sebastian's paying her bills. Thinking that your boyfriend's up to no good, that's typically more my thing than yours. Well, he's not exactly <laughs> my boyfriend. Well, that makes digging into his life a little less fun then. <laughs> we are going to show the world that the people of this great city will not back down to terrorists. He's committing suicide and you just invited the entire city to join him. Sebastian's your friend. Can't you talk him out of this, Oliver? But that ends now. Well, he won't listen to me. Are you going to listen to Laurel? Sebastian uh. Blood. This rally tomorrow night. You need to call it off. Now, nah, because the bomber. This yeah. city needs to come together. And I need to show them how. You won't be able to show them anything if you're dead. I won't send a contrary message to people telling them to stay home, to stay scared. I've made my decision. Yeah, I kind of actually thing, Alderman, agree with him. Whatever happens tomorrow night, it's not up to you. <laughs> I love that. I would just ghost out. That's so cool. Oh, Mrs. Fizikas. Forget the sales tax. <laughs> Are you going to the Alderman's Unity Rally tomorrow night? Well, of course he is. Miss it. Gathered here despite being as stubborn as you when it comes to fighting back. Or everything. Hey, is this how it's going to be with you two from now on? Maybe we should just head down to the rally. Maybe we won't have to. I analyzed the bomb remnants we got from Lance. The design's identical to the bombs used by an anti-government militia group called it a local souvenir shop. The wackadoo in question goes by the username Shrapnel. Oh, you know of course he does. Oh, I need you at the rally. Cover my face. Why are you going through the department's phone records? Um, so I checked up on your uh, not exactly boyfriend. Yeah, and just. Did you find anything? Yeah, it turns out he's a hell of a guy. Covering the question. of his dear aunt. Something about him just seems off. Oh, there is nothing sinister about a guy who is covering the expenses of his only living relative. The truth is, it's kind of nice. Now listen, I gotta get to City Plaza. Pike wants all hands at this unity rally. Okay, so stop looking for reasons to talk yourself out of it. I'm sorry, the fact Please. that you're not fighting it is exactly why she should look into it. You know, for some reason, I think it would have made a lot more sense for Dig to go. One more step or move a single muscle and then you'll miss the show. Can't. No. Okay. Felicity. The detonator is connected to the store's electricity and not something independent like a car battery. I, I know. Not You're helpful. rambling. <laughs> sure you want me doing this? My head might not exactly be in the game. Felicity. That building was built in the 70s. That's good news. Oh, that's what he specials in. Right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, that is such body control. Dude, why are you not looking in the speakers? I really don't think coming here was a good idea. It's kind of... Yep. Banded together just like we are tonight. Are too strong. I feel like there'd be more people there. And no earthquake is strong enough to tear us apart. Oliver said that the whole place was ringed with explosives within the sound equipment. I can do that. I, think. I hope. 
Just need to be careful. <laughs> Probably put in a safeguard. Tap her with him and set off a dead message. That is a thoroughly depressing term. <laughs> you guys are lucky the arrow's there. Hey, uh, Roy, how's your arm? Yeah, you need to talk to someone about that, bro. Bro. Boy. Roy. Wow, I got stuck between like four words there. Nice. How did you just not get off the bike right away? I like that bike. He's gonna shoot you through the hand. Did you just hear what I said? Yep. Or that. <laughs> that was too obvious. That's why I didn't say it. The wire was too obvious, but that's a hell of a shot. Impossible. You know the stories of moms lifting cars to save their kids. Things you can do when adrenaline hits. It was, it was one of those. Your arm. I don't buy it. <laughs> she don't buy it. Luck. I'm sorry. Were you apologizing to me, or were you talking to your quiver? I didn't snap at my quiver. You kind of more than snapped. I know. When you are there. It just made me realize how much I need you here. You know, in the, be the beginning, I was just gonna, I was gonna do all of this by myself. And now with you and Diggle. He doesn't know what to do without you guys. I rely on you. Nice. Very nice. Because you're not my employee. You're my partner. I finally have a guy who's interested in me and he's in a coma. My lightning <laughs> ends up in a coma. Typical. <laughs> well, maybe he's dreaming about you. Sarah, I know you're listening. Answer me. This is very simple, Sarah. I know you and your new friends have the miracle room. You know I will lay waste to this entire island to get it. Good sleeze. Blade's gone. You and your new friends oh. can be making port in Shanghai. Alternative is I send my men into the jungle to take the serum from you. They'll be under orders not to kill any of you. Instead. How? Oh, you can ask all the never mind. You want. Blade showed up in second. I'm, I'm good. Back. I caught up. She probably won't even know you're there. I'll be down the hall if you need anything. What are you doing, Laurel? I'm here to talk about your nephew. Say his name. <laughs> But it will not weaken us. It will only make us stronger. Well done, Alderman. Yeah. Still a very big risk to take. Sebastian's my friend. Sebastian is the devil. He's the one who put me here. He made everybody think I'm insane. But why would he do that? I saw it. Is that his mom? Oh my god. He's your son. Oh, don't do it all over. Don't trust what he says. You can't trust. Oh, that is a heck of an ending. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. Okay. So Sebastian's mother is in the cuckoo house. Apparently he killed. Apparently, according to her, according to her. She is in an insane asylum. So we got to take that for what it is. Maybe she's just saying it because that's what she wants to see. But. I like this episode because it wasn't. Even though it had the elements of basically what the theme has been for the season, the thing between the Mirakuru, Sebastian and Oliver and. Slade being the puppet master in the background. It was a very standalone -ish kind of episode with the bomber guy. And it was kind of fun seeing them work through their issues. And knowing at this point in time, Barry hasn't come out of his coma. So 
I like that little that little head nod. Um, Felicity, you know, basically saying she has feelings for for Barry is nice, and he has feelings for her. Very very interesting thing I didn't know happened. So it's very fun, very fun episode. Uh, you know, Oliver letting go of his past, kind of sorta in a way, his his obsession with blood. Um, I'm very curious what's going to happen next episode because they're shaking hands, which is stupid for Oliver to do. But like I said, fun little episode. Liked it. Uh, not going to drag this out too long. Can't wait for the next one. So with that being said, like, share, subscribe, Discord, comment below, all the things. Till next time, take care.